All right, today we're gonna to be going over this test review for Algebra 2. It's a lot of stuff on square roots, fractional exponents, uh, rationals, all this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna to try to go quick. You can pause and rewind as need to. Uh, if it's the 1 6 power, the top thing is the power. The bottom is the root. So this is the, and pardon my upside down writing, the sixth root of three. I could put three to the first, I don't need to. This one, the index is understood as two because it's square root. So this is 51 to the one half power. Remember that these are interchangeable. 12 to the two thirds power is the uh, cube root of 12 squared. Uh, C to the third to the three-fifths, when you raise a power to a power, you multiply them. That would be three times three, which is nine. So that is the uh, fifth root of C to the ninth power. Same thing over here. This would be the fifth root of eight. This would be 15 to the uh, three-fourths power. Power on top, root on the bottom. 37 to the one-third power. And on this one, you would take it a step at a time. So it would be six to the one-third power x to the one-third power and y to the two-thirds power since it's squared. It could also be written as the whole thing here, 6xy squared to the one-third power and that would be acceptable. Just look for both ways since it's a multiple choice test. On this bottom part down here, the one-half power is the same thing as the square root. The one-third power is the same thing as the cube root. So you're looking to isolate your square root and then work from there. You subtract 3, you subtract 3, that's the square root of x is equal to 4. You square it and you square it. x is 16. On this one, you subtract 18, you subtract 18, you come up with uh, a negative 3 times the square root of y is equal to 7. At this point, you know everything is going to go wrong because this has to be a negative number. So I wouldn't even worry about this. I just put no real solution. It's going to be an imaginary number. You'll figure out the imaginary from the um, multiple choice on the test. If it's cube root, just remember that you have to cube to undo that. So in this case, it would be 3r minus 6 is equal to 27. So then you add 6. That's going to be 3r is equal to 33. So r is 11 and it's the same way down through all of these I'll see if there's anything any more challenging but I don't think there's gonna be just be wary on ones where it's gonna come up to a negative like this one here you subtract one you subtract one that's the square root of V is equal to a negative one that means it's gonna be I or you can again put no real solution on that one um, down here at the bottom where there's a square root on both sides of it you take this and you square it, you take this and you square it, and it's going back to algebra one. G, if I could make an upside down G, G plus one equals two G minus seven. Uh, you subtract G, can't make them upside down. You get G over here, and then you add seven, you add seven, and you get equals eight. So G is eight. 8 plus 1 is 9, the square root of 9 is 3, 2 times 8 is 16, minus 7 is 9, the square root of 9 is 3, it checks out. Just check your answers. If you get stuck on these um, and you're sitting there on the test, remember it's multiple choice. So take your answer and put it in and see which one of them works. You can even use your calculator to help you out on that if it's something like square root of 5 equals square root of 5, uh, just to check and make sure. Same thing with the cube roots, just remember that it's... Um, it's the, the second button and then that little carrot button, but you can also just raise to the and raise to the one-third power on your calculator, so that can be a pretty helpful tool if you're working your way through it. On the back side over here, just remember, the square roots, you're looking for perfect squares. A to the fourth is gonna be um, A mm -hmm. squared when you square root it, B to the sixth is gonna be B to the third when you uh, square root it, and 900, um, it's actually, if you can't figure it out, it's going to be 9 and 100, or you can type it in or whatever. These are ones that the calculator can be a really big help. 900 is 30. So that's it. We're done with that one. Remember, if you're cube rooting or if you're fifth rooting and it's a negative number, it's going to be a negative outcome. So the cube root of negative 64 is a negative 4. The cube root of x to the 12th, that's 12 over 3, so that's x to the 4th power. 
Um, fourth root, remember, is the square root of the square root. So if you know square roots, you can work through that pretty easy. Or again, you can kind of type it in and you can imagine these as fractions. 12 over 4, 36 over 4. This is going to be 3x to the third, y to the ninth power. On this part down here, remember on these, you're going to have to foil it. But these are conjugates, so it's going to make the square root stuff go away. You're going to have 49 right here. And then 2 squared is 4, and then times 3 is 12, so 49 minus 12 is going to make this one a 37. On this one, this is what's inside times what's inside, what's outside times what's outside when you're multiplying them. So this is the square root of 36x to the fourth power y squared, which is just going to be square root of 36 is 6. Square root of x to the fourth is x squared, and the square root of y squared is y. Um, other than that, like on these, this is probably one of the most challenging ones on the whole back. Uh, and it's just you take the fourth root of each part after you have reduced this fraction. So the fourth root of 16 is going to be the square root of the square root, which is 2. The fourth root of 81 is going to be 3. Um, x to the fifth over x is x to the fourth. The fourth root of that is just an x. And then y to the tenth over y squared is going to be y to the eighth. And then the fourth root of that is y squared. Then you take that to the third. Two to the third is eight. Uh, three to the third is 27. And then you've got x to the third, that's x to the third. And then y squared to the third is y to the sixth power. I can't reduce that fraction. Your calculator can help you out a lot. If you get stuck on this, the main workaround is put like a two in for x, just say x equals two, and just say y equals three and go ahead and type it with like parentheses or um, multiple, multiplying signs or whatever in between them. See what number you come up with and check your multiple choice answer against that. Okay. Um, on these, this is what you're going to have. There's none of the squaring twice. Okay. Oh, I skipped over this. Again, same thing. Um, cube root, raise it to the third. The negative means we're flipping it over the fraction line. Fourth root of 81 is 3. Fourth root, of, fourth root of x to the eighth is x squared. Then we raise it to the negative third. So that's 1 over 3 to the third, which is 27. And then 1 over x squared to the third, which is x to the sixth. Just be aware that this negative doesn't flip this fraction. It flips over here, this fraction of the main part. When you're multiplying, you add the exponents. This one's silly. It's a 1 half on the top and the exact same thing, the square root on the bottom. So square root of this on top of square root of the exact same thing on the bottom, it's 1. Don't overwork yourself. On this one, this is 216 because we're cubing it, and that's x plus 5 equals 216. So x is 211. Um, on this one, it's the one-third power. It's cube root. So you're going to cube 4. Uh, that's going to be 64, and that's 2x minus 4 equals 64. So x is 30. Um, on these, on this one right here, this is going to be your difficult one on this part because that's x squared plus 4 uh, is equal to 49. So this is going to be x squared plus 4 minus 49. And that one, you're going to have to run the quadratic equation. Oh, no, no, you won't. It would be x squared minus 45, which isn't factorable. So x is just going to be the square root of 45 for the answer on that one. Or 3 square root of 5. Again, it's something that you can use your calculator to check it. It won't give you the perfect answer because your calculator doesn't work in radicals. But you can check the decimal answers against each other. On this part, all you got to do is graph. Um, this is going to move this 4 to the right, but then we're dividing that by a negative 5, so it's going to move 4 fifths to the left, so not quite 1. It doesn't move up, and it's reflected going backwards. I think this is supposed to be my line. So it's going to go kind of like that. Um, you can graph these in your calculator. The negative flips it upside down. The minus 9 moves it down. So it's kind of like that. Um, the x minus 3 moves it 3 to the right, up 1. 3 to the right, up 1. And then it's multiplied by 2, so it's bigger. And then this is going to go 2 to the left and flipped over. And then 1 fourth. 
so it's compressed. So to the left, flipped over, compressed, kind of like that. Um, again, not, not anything too onerous, not anything too crazy. Uh, if you have questions on any of this further from that point, um, come by, talk to me in the morning, talk to me before the test. I do have uh, lunch tutorials because it's Thursday, and good luck on your test.